Okay, so at this moment, we will be again uh, discussing about uh, function of a calculator, which is very useful in taking the RME exam. So that uh, function is called as the substitution function. Okay, so uh, it is not really a function, but it's composed of many functions, which comprises a certain technique. That technique is called the substitution technique okay, so we just write this one in so i'm still having problem with my new pen mouse substitution okay so i'm still getting used to with this new um, input device Okay, so substitution technique. So how we are going to use the substitution technique? So this substitution technique requires you to know first, you must know the, so the requirement. So first, you must know the formula. So you must know the formula. Then, you must also, the problem or the question must be an MCQ. What is an MCQ? That is a multiple choice question. So meaning, the problem must have choices. Because you will use the choices in, um, in answering or in getting the right answer. Okay. So the best way to do that is, for example... A certain problem so let's have just the illustration of the problem here for example we have a given problem which the given itself the voltage is we use the another letter for our voltage the E so sometimes I get confused if I use the V as the variable for our voltage so our E is equal to let's say 50 50 volts okay then our current is equal to sample 10 ohms a uh, 10 amperes sorry for the unit so it would be 10 amperes Okay, so we are going to solve for the resistance of the system or the resistance of the circuit. Okay. So then the problem has the choices. So for A, we have... For A, we have 5. Then for B, we have 3. So the, each unit is ohms. This also is ohms. For C, that will be 4 ohms. And for letter D, will be 2 ohms okay so a b c or d okay so in order to answer this one so we must first know the formula so what is the formula or what is the law involved in this problem that will be ohm's law so ohm's law is equal to i is equal to v over r so you are looking for your R, so you can solve for the R. So if you are very familiar with Ohm's law, you can use manipulation, the Ohm's law triangle, whatever technique you want. But in, for this example, we could we will use the substitution method. So first, you substitute the given. So you will have this one as the I is 10. 
is equal to uh, the V or E. So this will be E. Okay, just have the plug E. Okay, so the E is equal to 50 over R. Okay, and your R is your A, B, C, and D. So 5 ohms, 3 ohms, 4 ohms, and 2 ohms. So you need to find a value of R in which if you are going to substitute R, so that is called substitution, R into this uh, equation or, or to this part of the equation, the answer will be equal to 10. So that's why it is called substitution method. So by using our calculator, we could type 50 over, so we, let's say we'll use the value of A. So alpha A, then calc. So you will put the value of A. So it will be 5. So then after putting the value of A, 5, then you will press equals. The answer is 10. So this one is correct. So we, there is 99.99% .99 that this is the answer. Okay. Then we'll use um three for example three so you could change this one into b but for example you will you, you want to go 50 over b but it's, it is still the same you just um go there and into calc then you change the value of a into three so three equals that is 50 over 33 that is not equal to 10 so this one is wrong then again uh, okay so Then, again, for C, we have 4. That, that is 12.5, I believe. So, 12.5. So, this is wrong. This is not equal to 10. Then, the last one, D, 2, 25. So, not equal to 10. So, your answer is letter A. So, that is how easy to use the substitution method. So you must know the formula and the problem must be an MCQ problem. Okay? So we will have another example for this one. So let's just add text. We will write the text. Okay. Wow, what happened? Dex. Okay, so we'll write the problem first. Okay, so we have this problem. So let's just move here. Okay, so we have this problem now. So what current will a 3000 watt toaster take from a 600 volt source? Okay. So first, we will write the formula. Of course, so this, the required is power. Okay, so the required is power. So we are looking for the is it power or current? So the required is current. So we are looking for our I. Okay. Then the formula for this one, because it involves power, so we could have this one as P 
is equal to B times I. Okay? So, our P is equal to 3,000 watts. And our V is equal to 600 volts. Then we have our I. So, our I is our variable. And the I is given by these choices. So, one of these choices is the correct I. Okay? So, we will input this one, this part of the equation, to the calculator. And we will use the substitution method. Uh, substituting all the choices and which of the choices is the correct answer. Okay? So, we have here. So, let's in sub 600. So, we will... For this example, we will use the letter, uh, just use X, okay? So, our X will be the value of A, choices A, B, C, and D. So, first, we will use the value for A. Or, let's have first, uh, we will start from the last one. So, it's up to you which one will you um, use first, the choice A or choice D, whichever is the choice as long as one of those choices will yield the desired answer okay so at this problem the desired uh, answer is equal to 3000 so if our answer after substituting these choices is equal to 3000 99.99 percent .99 that option or that choice is the correct answer okay so calc okay use the alpha okay calc then our x is equal to 5, so input 5. Okay, we will be starting from the bottom. Okay, so 4 is equal to 2,400, so this is 3,000. So this is wrong. We will use the other color for that one, so this is wrong. Then another one for letter C, that is 2, so input 2 equals 120 again wrong okay then for letter b three one eight one thousand eight hundred so not equal to three thousand so again this is wrong and the last one for letter a so calc five equals so equal to three thousand so this is the correct answer so our answer for this problem is letter a so no need for you to have the long solution for this one it will be the correct answer okay so that will be all for the substitution method and i hope you learned something if you have some request problems that you need to be solved or you want to know how to solve that problem using the calculator using these techniques or the other te te uh, techniques discuss uh, discuss no discuss from the previous video so you can always comment that one in our youtube channel or you can um uh or you can comment on our facebook uh, page at 2d engineering learning center so thank you for watching and keep on studying